Now, we know in today's sports media world that a lot of people like to go with the hot take. They want to say something outlandish that can start up a lot of conversation. And on here, we like the conversation, but I don't feel like we have many hot takes. And when I said this take earlier today on Twitter, it got a lot of attention and a lot of different responses, a lot of varying responses, especially from Baltimore Ravens fans. And what that take was that I don't feel like it's so hot is that I want the Baltimore Ravens to keep Rashad Bateman and pick up his fifth-year option. Now, I know Bateman didn't have the sexiest season in the world this year. I know he didn't pick up the prettiest numbers at all this year or have the prettiest stats or anything like that. But I still see it, man. I, I, I still see it. And I want Rashad Bateman as a wide receiver. I want him exhausted. And what I mean when I say that, I want the Baltimore Ravens to truly use him, to truly give him opportunity so we can truly see how good he can possibly be. The potential is there. And I know we've been talking about potential for years with Rashad Bateman, but we haven't gotten to quite see it yet. But with Rashad Bateman, I, I just want him to have a real opportunity, a consistent opportunity where nobody else is in the way opportunity. Still competition, of course, at the receiver position, and nothing is to be given or handed out. But I still want to see Rashad Bateman a big part of what the Baltimore Ravens do because I see it, and I know you do too. Team, keep it clean before we get into this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and do not miss a single video because I don't want y'all missing out on nothing. We got plenty of news to talk about with the Baltimore Ravens. We got plenty of stories to talk about with the Baltimore Ravens. We got plenty of updates to talk about with our Baltimore Ravens. And just because it's the off season, we ain't stopping. We ain't going nowhere. Just because football stopped, NFL football stopped. Oh, team, keep it clean. Y'all know we don't stop. And leave a like on the video because y'all know it helps out the channel a ton. Now, when I said this, uh, there were some people that agreed with what I had to say. There were some people that, yeah, yeah, I agree. I think we should keep Rashad Bateman. I, I think that's a good idea. I'm with you, Unk. Even though when people call you Unk, that means you're old, but I will gracefully accept that. Anyway, there were also some opposing responses, and let's read some of them. Uh, somebody said, not. Uh, somebody said, uh, they had us in the first half, not going to lie. Um, and somebody else said, um, a hurt receiver every other game. Uh, well, somebody else was like, no, thank you. No, sir, he got to prove himself. No, he's not good enough and has no fight in him to be great. Cut ties now. He doesn't seem to make an impact. Someone else mentioned, and I want a million dollars and a Bentley. Uh, it's going to be a no from me, dog. I personally do not want him. Nah, Chief, I think picking up Coleman from FSU would be the better route. You must have time traveled into next season and saw Bateman put up crazy numbers to justify all of that. Cut Bateman. He doesn't deserve that fifth-year option. Nah, it ain't worth it. We've been saying this for four years. Why? He's a bust. And you can go to the tweet to look at everybody's reaction for yourself, but it's definitely a mixed reaction to some people wanting Rashad Bateman to stay and others not so much. But I don't think it's a bad idea to keep Rashad Bateman at all. Now, we know I'm sure you've seen all the charts and I'm sure you've seen all the stats. And if you watch film, you see a lot of the games with Rashad Bateman. He is open. That man will get open. It's one on one. Oh, Bateman winning every time. Well, maybe not every time, but a lot of the time, Bate got it. He got it. But there just seems to be something off between him and Lamar Jackson. They just can't seem to get it. And where they can't seem to get it the most seems to be when the plays break down. The off scripted stuff. For the scripted stuff, oh, Bateman, run this route. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. He got that all day. That's easy money for Rashad Bateman. But it's when things break down, that's where there seems to be the biggest disconnect. When the play breaks down, and th that, that's one of the things with Lamar Jackson, with the people that he has the biggest connections with, when the play breaks down, oh, yeah, they know how to turn it on quick. Remember Lamar Jackson, Hollywood Brown. Oh, and that seems to be a real popular name, especially recently. But Hollywood Brown, Lamar Jackson, they have the scripted stuff. All right, Hollywood, this is the route. Okay, I, I, I got you. He'll run the route. Maybe Lamar gets some pressure. Maybe the offensive line can't hold up. Uh-oh, play breaking down. Hollywood, you got me? Oh, yeah, 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 I, I, I got you. Watch this. Boom, connection like that. Mark Andrews. 
I ain't even gotta say it. But more recently, Isaiah Likely, Zay Flowers, even Nelson Aguilar, those guys have been able to still deliver when the play breaks down. But with Rashad Bateman, it just hasn't been there yet. If Rashad Bateman and Lamar Jackson, if they can really get it in this offseason, I really do feel. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, no, we've been saying this for years about baby. Oh, no, he ain't delivered yet. Why would he now? I really do feel if they can get that connection down, this thing could be on a whole nother level. Because you see somebody else who's always open? Who? Zay Flowers. And you know how great that connection is with him. And think about this, too. Zay Flowers gets open like crazy. The route running is nasty. And he's like five foot nine, five eight, five nine. He's a shorter receiver. But he's productive. Lamar still be getting on that ball. So imagine a taller receiver, bigger catch radius, got some good speed. He ain't as wiggly as Zay Flowers, but I mean, <laughs> who is? But with Rashad Bateman, the route running is there. It's there. And yeah, he's gonna have some drops here and there, but I mean. That's any receiver, especially on the Baltimore Ravens. They're going to give you some drops here and there for sure. Well, actually, not Odell Beckham Jr. now. Odell Beckham Jr. ain't going to give you no drops. Well, maybe one, but he ain't going to give you no drops. He ain't give you that many catches. Either. But anyway, <laughs> shout out to Odell Beckham Jr. We're going to talk about him later on. But with Rashad Bateman, it's dead. And it's like, why not? Why not? He has an opportunity. The Baltimore Ravens have an opportunity. If they really insert him in the game plan, like really, oh man, it could be crazy. It could be insane. Like, you know, with, with, with Odell Beckham Jr., it seemed like when he did play, like he was more of a focal point than Rashad Baby. And I get it. Hey, you paying him $15 million. You better be focused on that guy. So I, I get that. But. Now with Odell Beckham Jr. and the Baltimore Ravens being in limbo, what's going to happen next with him? Who knows? I mean, we'll have to find out extremely soon, like very, very soon. But if Rashad Bateman can have his opportunity to be one of the guys, obviously right now it's expected to be Zay Flowers, first round pick from last year. Uh, and then after that, it's really up in the air. It's really up in the air. Nelson Aguilar, free agent. Odell Beckham Jr. could be a free agent. They could re-sign him. We'll see what happens with that. Devin DuVernay, free agent. Tylen Wallace, are they going to really give him an opportunity? Probably not, if we're being real about it. They may give him some burn here and there, but he's not going to be one of their top receivers. I wouldn't expect him to. But, hey, you never know. But, but bottom line, like, hey, this could be Bateman's another opportunity for him. Another opportunity for Rashad Bateman. Now, um, one thing that, no matter how you feel about Rashad Bateman, one thing that has been just absolute facts, truth, um, despite the potential that's obviously there, injuries have been there as well. And injuries have literally messed everything up for Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman was somebody in college. Uh, Ravens got to get some stuff fixed. They still got, they, they gotten better now, but they still got a little stuff to work on here and there because Rashad Bateman in college, healthy. Bill of health, clean as a whistle. Unless it's like, it's a whistle that's been on 30 miles or something like that. But you, you get what I'm saying. Rashad Bateman, his bill of health was team keep it clean. He gets to the Ravens, poof, everything falls apart. Everything falls apart. From his rookie year, every year he's dealt with injury. He's missed significant time every single year. Every single year. Yeah, and you got to feel like that has been a huge factor as to why Rashad Bateman hasn't got it yet. I think so. Because even if you go back to this last season, you look at Lamar Jackson. Look at how he was wheeling and dealing with that football. Look, Zay Flowers, first year with the team. Boom, him and Lamar, connection. Isaiah Likely, when Mark Andrews went down. Him and Lamar Jackson, boom, connection. Mark Andrews, obviously. Hold up. Did I say Isaiah Likely? Yeah, okay, Isaiah Likely. I feel like I got my words mixed up. But when Mark Andrews and Lamar obviously already got a connection. Odell Beckham Jr., even with him and Lamar Jackson, it took a little extra time, but they had that connection. So my point is Lamar Jackson shown that he got that connection with everybody, but with him and Rashad Bateman, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. 
So since it wasn't there, that impacted everything. There were plays where they, ooh, they were so close, but no cigar. It was plays where it's like, oh, man, what the, oh, it was right there. And we even saw, I believe it was during the Chiefs game. And I appreciated the fact that this was on film, and I guess they were mic'd up or whatever it was. But they showed it where Lamar Jackson, he got pressure. He got pressure, and Rashad Bateman was open, and he thought Rashad Bateman was going to keep going. But Rashad Bateman came back, and he was like, oh, that was touchdown. The connection is off, man. It's off. But if we go back to this offseason, we know that Rashad Bateman missed a significant amount of time this offseason because he was dealing with an injury. Give Rashad Bateman this offseason. Give him this offseason. And I like I obviously got no say in what happens, what the Baltimore Ravens choose to do. Um, so and this like they 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 can't even afford to wait uh to pick up the fifth year option or not because it's this year. They have to make the decision now before May. So whether they're going to do that or not, we'll know soon enough. But what I would do, I'd pick up that fifth-year option, man. I really would. Because if you can get Rashad Bateman, a healthy Rashad Bateman, and I know that's hoping for a lot because he don't got the best track record right now in the NFL. But you get Rashad Bateman uh, at his, at his fourth-year salary, and his fourth year salary ain't gonna be nothing too crazy. He's the first round pick now. He only pays a much, but it ain't gonna be nothing too crazy, especially when it comes to a wide receiver. And then with the fifth year option, now well, still, if you pick up the fifth year option, it'll be there in the fifth year, and his salary will go way up. But he still won't be paid like a top receiver. Just imagine if this year he goes off. And then again, I know some people. Oh well, we've been thinking that. We've been imagining that. We're tired. Our imaginations are done. I get it, and I respect it. But just imagine if we can get Rashad Bateman with a healthy offseason. Because I take you back to his rookie year. Let me, let's go back to his rookie year. Remember when Rashad Bateman, when he first came on the scene? Ravens drafted Rashad Bateman, and I was hyped. I, that's who I wanted the Ravens to draft, so I was extra hyped that night when they drafted him. He ends up getting hurt. He ends up getting hurt uh, at the, in the training camp, I believe. Got hurt. I think he had like a groin injury, something like that. He missed, like, I think the first, I want to say six weeks of the season, however long it was. So, y'all know, I, I said, man, him and Lamar Jackson, their connection, it, it ain't going to be good. He's a rookie. This is his first year. He missed a bunch of time and training. Oh, their connection is going to be off. Nope. F literally from jump. From jump. Rashad Bateman's first games. When he had still wore that number 12, his first games. It was a period of time where literally every catch that he had, it went for a first down. And then not every catch was past the sticks. He had to get some yak. But him and Lamar's connection, it was like that. It was like that from jump. So it, it, it's there, man. I know a lot of y'all don't want to see it. Some of y'all see it, but y'all try to cover your eyes. The potential is certainly there. I know you know. But it's up to the Baltimore Ravens to see if they can really get it out of them again. There have been instances, there have been times, there have been here and there's where, oh, that's the Rashad Bateman that we know. That's the Rashad Bateman that we expect. That's the one that we've been waiting on. We have seen it time and time again, but not time and time enough. So if they can get a healthy Rashad Bateman, oh, man, I ain't giving up on him. I haven't given up on him. I know a lot of Ravens fans have, but I'm not one of them. 